Hi everyone, it's Louise. I just want to say a quick shout out to Betty, thanking her for inviting me to this Friday with Friends that incorporates Mary, Janet, and Betty. And I will have the full playlist in my description below. Thanks a lot. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCart. And welcome to my channel. And I'm continuing on with a color palette that I just made a set of really pretty autumn colored coasters. And I want to make this little saw blade into a clock face. Now, I think this will be the third time I'm pouring over this. I think I'm starting to get a little picky about things. But what I want to do on this is I want to make this a full-on swipe across the whole thing and see what we come up with. So I've got my colors. I've got my Nicolazzo Gold here by Golden. I've got TLP uh, Zeus. Today's the first day I've even used this thing. This is a combination of the KS Resin Challenge that I call the green, but it's really a yellow with black. And I also added some Aspen from TLP in it. This here is a red combined uh, variety of things, but I think it's mostly DecoArt Garnet and Quinacridone Crimson. This here is a combination of yellows with uh, Amsterdam's Naples Yellow Light and Regular, and also some Arteza's Pearl Golden Hour. And this is my typical uh, gold combination between DecoArt 24 Karat and Iridescent Gold. So I'm going to use this swiping tool. I'm going to use my Multi Pro White Pillow. My intention is to swipe as all encompassing as I can on this, just for fun, and see how these colors play together in that set, set up with a swipe. I found sometimes that you might have a combination that works great on coasters for a bloom, but it doesn't swipe worth a darn or vice versa. So let me get the pillow down and let's get started. I've tried a variety of things here, none of which have worked to my liking. So I'm going to continue to mess around till I get something I like. Which one do I want? I'm gonna go with this guy to start with. So let's get the cell activator on there. Let's go with the black down first. And I'm gonna load up my palette knife with paint. And I'm not going to put as many paints down as I was originally intending. And I'm not sure what I'm even doing at this point. But I know I'm going to go in reverse order based on what I want to go from what's on top to what's on the bottom. The last one down will be the first one down there. So I want to go, I want the green to be the last color down. So that's that. And I want I want the green. Let's see. Zeus. Just a smidge of gold. And then the red, and then the yellow. A big air bubble in there. All right. No, this is not my strength, swiping like this, but I'm going to give it a shot here. I think I have a lot of paint. I probably have too much paint. Yeah, you reach a point where you just can't swipe anymore. The swiping doesn't work. So I don't like what happened there. So let me get rid of it.
There we go. Okay, let's see what we have there. That's not bad. This is the hardest part is keeping a clean area. So this is not bad. That's a starter. You know, maybe this is good right here. These colors are nice together. Just FYI, all the parts where I'm just cleaning the palette knife in between swipes, I'm going to be taking most of those out of the video. This looks like somebody's bending a knee. like all this. Let me, uh, I'm going to mess around. Do I want to do another swipe somehow on this? It's all for fun. Okay, so the black down first. So in the interest of time, I'm going to double time through this, but it's still call out right. the colors as I lay them down. Green. Zeus. Let's throw a dab of Nicolazzo in here just for fun. A little gold, a little red, a little yellow. So what I'm trying to do here is gather up a little pillow paint and backfill in this area so I have a little more pillow paint to scoop and drag with, but it doesn't quite work out like I want to. Curious how this is going to stretch out. So all the way through this, where I'm just scooping and dragging and stretching things out a little bit, I'm thinking in terms of what's going to happen as I start to spin it. And what I'm doing here is I'm just breaking the surface tension of the pillow paint so that as I do get ready to spin, it'll have a nice place to flow to. Okay, let's give her a whirl. Got 
spillage off one side. Now, why is it just one side? So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here as I'm just stretching out the pillow paint a little more to the edges. So I'm just picking up the pace five times here as I finish stretching it all the way to the edges and add a little more pillow paint to help it get there. So as we go through some of the rest of this, I'm going to be picking up the pace and dubbing over as I go, but it's pretty much compositionally where I'm going to have it. And it's just a matter of spinning it out to get it all the uh, pillow paint off and get the shape right. So I'll admit my initial reaction to this wasn't very favorable and I'm starting to wonder if this saw blade is just doomed for failure. But you know the obvious thing that I see here is the hummingbird and I decide in the long run I'm going to keep it. And what I'm doing right now is just cleaning up the bottom. It makes a clean clock face, that's for sure. If that's what it ultimately becomes. It's just not doing it for me. stop right there. <laughs> I'm not thrilled. Not thrilled. Here's my silly bird. So everyone, that's a wrap and look at how my little hummingbird is gleaming with the resin coating. Once again, thank you to Betty for inviting me to Friday with Friends with Mary, Janet, and Betty. If you haven't seen them before, please check them out, and the playlist will be in my description. Thanks a lot, everybody. Until next time, take care.